something terrible. If the police find him, then they'll put him in prison, and the one who really murdered Vimal will be free to come and go at will. I hope he finds you, you Bible-bashing scum. Hello? What's your name? Michael. Your friend's death must have been a terrible blow. Tell Cardinal Bukovac if he wants to clip my wings, you'll need to come and do it in person. I hope you're not under the illusion that staying in England grants you freer reign to indulge your fetish for exorcism. Whatever ceremony you like, as long as at the end of it I've got my prison back. I don't perform an exorcism until I've talked to the subject. I thought you told me this guy was going to sort it. No, what I said was Father Jacob is the most experienced person in the country at dealing with this kind of um, voodoo. Right. Look, we've got a serious case of religious hysteria brewing among some of the most violent prisoners in the UK. You are here to nip it in the bud now. If you want to call that an exorcism, it's fine if it makes him happy. You just light your candles, say your prayers, and you can all go home. Hello. What's your name? Are you unable to speak? Are you unwilling? gone for good. Did you get rid of her? I'm not sure that an exorcism is what you need. What I need is for you to get that bitch out of me. Who is she? Don't know. Do you know why she's here? This may be difficult for you to accept, but I don't think she means you any harm. Perhaps, perhaps she's here to help you 
understand. Get out of me! Get her out! Get her out! Get her out! Get her out! Sweating blood. It's got to be pretty conclusive. It's called hematohydrosis. It happens under extreme stress. Or crumb hydrosis after ingesting certain drugs. So he could be faking it? Yeah, it could be. Don't think he is. So do your stuff. What are you waiting for? Don't think I have the authority. But I've spoken to the bishop. This goes a bit higher than the bishop. What did you smell in there? I was wearing some kind of weird aftershave. It was more like perfume. Flowers? That's the odour of sanctity, not evil. So he's not possessed? Not by demons. <laughs> Today. Good. How are you on your feet? You must be getting very bored with this room. Still shaky. But you can make it to the bathroom. <coughs> it's all right, I believe you. You don't like the pyjamas? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll put them on. Sorry. Do you remember anything? Dreams? Flying dreams. They could. Who wants to remember feeling like this? Give me one historical example of possession by a saint. Exciting, isn't it? Saints don't possess unwilling hosts, let alone serial rapists. Why not? Well, because grace is a gift from God, not an imposition. Sister, this is Father Daniel from Sandfield Prison. Are we too late for breakfast? Yes. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. The kitchen's closed. Let's have a look at that foil. Now, this is a breach of confidence. I'm not really supposed to let you see. Why would a saint speak to us like this? It might not be about us. She might be here for Corey. She asked you to pray for me. You've got a problem with that. It sounded like a threat. God can be pretty terrifying. If a saint wanted to help Corey, she... She wouldn't possess him. She wouldn't take away his free will. Are you telling the saints what they can and can't do? Father, I invited you to resolve the situation, not to aggravate it. Would you rather it was a demon? No. But at least we have a procedure for dealing with them. Well, we have a procedure for dealing with the saints as well. We listen and we learn. His mother doesn't visit him. You won't get anything out of her. She won't talk to clergy. Well, she sounds interesting. Thank you. Father, do you have a moment? Always for you, sister. It's about our guest. It can wait. No, no, no. Go ahead. We're looking after a homeless man at the moment. He makes Sister Ruth uncomfortable. Silly of me, I know. He arrived covered in blood just after two people were murdered here. The perpetrator of that crime is behind bars. Is there anything about this particular individual, or do we serve the entire homeless population of London? The kitchen would like to know. Michael is vulnerable. As soon as I'm satisfied that he's fully recovered, he can leave. I think he likes it here. I don't think he's in any hurry. He needs our help. Period. 
Uh, I had chicken. Kill people. You just missed them. Seems to have made a miraculous recovery. Do you know why this is happening to you? Help me. I can only help you if you tell me. Something you need to confess. I'm going to hell. Isn't that enough for her? No one has to go to hell. Tell me why she's here and I can help you. Admit your crimes. I never said he caught me. Felt more like a punch. The blade was covered in his blood, and so was he. If he can do miracles, why didn't he save himself? Is that why you attacked him? Because he could do miracles? This man raped other inmates. So, why did you try to rape Corey? Some cultures believe that sex with a virgin cleanses the body of illness. Was it her you were trying to rape? I wouldn't be surprised if there have been other demands made on Corey. That may be why he's so desperate to get rid of her. Sister, you seem very settled. That's reassuring. Your Eminence, I didn't know you were in the country. Father Jacob is out of the office. Is he? It's not an exorcism. He's investigating a miracle. It's within his remit. Saints behaving like demons, possessing rapists. Which remit would that be? He didn't pursue this. The prison chaplain approached him. No doubt from his reputation after the last scandal. Headlines worldwide. Well, I can see he's already appealed to your sympathy. The misunderstood maverick fighting Vatican bureaucracy. He hasn't mentioned the Vatican. I'm not denying his charisma, sister. Exorcists are full of it. The glamour of fighting Satan in hand-to-hand -hand combat. His path, however, attracts the deluded, the disturbed, and the dangerous. Why haven't you expelled him? Better inside the tent, pissing out, they said. Well, now we're all soaked. I had hoped that your presence might inhibit him. Instead, he seems to find it a provocation. What do you want me to do? You're no longer here to monitor him. I want you to gather evidence. Documents, emails, conversations. Evidence for what? His theories are heresy. Academics have been excommunicated for less. Why do you think she's a virgin? You heard her. She sounded like a child to me. Can't demons impersonate children? No, 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 no. He's onto something. All of Corey's victims were virgins. Shouldn't we be talking about how to get rid of her? Well, if she is a saint, the first thing we should do is to find out who she is and what she wants, and then do it. OK. Well, what about suspects? How many saints are there? 10,000 plus. Great. Possession, then. 
Any of them got form on that? Ah, uh, we're on our own there. No documented cases of saintly possession. What about saints and rapists? Maria Goretti is the patron saint of rape victims. She was murdered resisting a rape just over a hundred years ago. Was she a virgin? She was 11, yes. Well, shouldn't we dig up some background on her and Corey and see if there are any other connections? Corey was 20 when he was put behind bars. Maria Goretti's assailant, Alessandro Serenelli, was also 20. Both of them gave the victims the same choice, lose your virginity or die. But Serenelli repented in prison. He attended Holy Communion with the victim's mother and he went to her canonization. But Corey has never even admitted his guilt. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. She takes over a guy who raped virgins and gets him raped until he owns up. Does that sound like God? That is Satan making a mockery of everything we stand for. If it is Maria Goretti, perhaps she's trying to get him to reconcile with his victims. That's what her attacker did. Oh, no. There is no way I am putting you in touch with rape victims. Has he had any visitors? Can I help you? Sandra Teller? Yes. My name's Father Jacob. I'm here on behalf of Sandfield Prison. It's in relation to Corey Wardell. Are you willing to talk to me about him? You tried to visit him in prison and he turned you down. I thought if I spoke to him it would help me. And him, maybe. Did he explain why he refused? He said there was nothing to explain. Uh, I asked for it, you see. Are you willing to talk to me about it? I don't know. Uh, ask me a question. How old were you? Fifteen. It's all right, really. Um, I've told it a hundred times to a hundred strangers. No, it, it's... it's... I'm trying to find a way of, of talking about the reason... No, not the reason. The mechanics, without sounding... It's hard, because uh, no one wants to talk about there being a reason. It's not allowed to be my fault, but... Sometimes I wish it had been, then I could do something about it and move on. Mm. Did he say anything during the attack? Nothing that made any sense. I thought it was some foreign language, but he, he doesn't speak any, apparently. And he called me Maria. Uh, the other girls, too. That seems to be the person he was angry at. Anything else you remember? His breath. Smoke? Uh, worse. Like a chemical factory. Must have been a medical condition. <laughs> Can't have been easy for him to chat someone up. You don't hate him? He gave me a choice. He said I could die a virgin. I made my choice. I love my life. And if I hated him, it would mean I made the wrong choice. And I didn't. Do you believe in God? Corey put a stop to all that. My great loss. I think you would be a great loss to God. He should have treated me better then. because I did something terrible. Have you remembered? What happened here? Before I turned up? There was a visitor from Rome, a Monsignor, a friend of Jacob's. He was insane. He murdered two people. 
It was nothing to do with me. Apparently not. Even though I turned up just after it happened. Father Jacob says you're innocent. That's what priests do, isn't it? If it's troubling you, perhaps you should talk to the police. I thought I might have done something bad. I didn't think it was... You wouldn't let me stay here if I was dangerous, would he? I don't know Father Jacob all that well. Why don't you call the police? I haven't said I won't. Glad to see you've got your strength back. How's the memory coming along? Sister Ruth's been filling me in. Oh, yes, there was always that danger. I was hoping to be able to sit down with you myself. I'm sorry. Did I do this? Do you remember doing it? He was a friend of yours. How can you even look at me? You were possessed. Am I cured? We'll be better placed to judge that when you've remembered. I don't want to. No, you have to, I'm afraid. There are several ways a man can become possessed. Innocently, through the will of God, or as the victim of some occult ritual. Or he may invite demons in through grave and persistent sin. Worst case scenario, a man can actively invite the demons in. I'm sorry, I... I didn't mean to burden you with this until you were strong enough to deal with it. <laughs> you think I can deal with this? You must, if you want to remain clean. Father, why was I cancelled the visit? I don't know. Is it true? What have you heard? One of the inmates has been healing the sick and now he's dying. Who told you that? One of the wives. Is he, is he still alive? He's been injured, but he is recovering. Pray for him if you can. He needs all the help he can get. I will. Has he said anything since you saw him last? No. Has she? You still think she's a saint? It's a bit more complicated than that. He was possessed before he got here. Demonically possessed. So I was right then, she's not a saint. Maybe. Where did she first appear? It's been taken apart and put back twice. I'm wasting your time. Top one's chorus. Where's his cellmate? He dislocated his jaw screaming to be let out. Okay. We'll spend the night here. No matter what anyone hears, this door stays locked. What was in the box? What do you think? A relic. Something sacred. To provoke the demon. I got the idea from a friend of mine. She could be trying to fool you. Oh, absolutely. Satan's a master of deceit. Well, I always thought that the odor of sanctity was... You know, sacrosanct. Maybe mistaken. Perhaps demons have found a way of faking that, too. You agree? It's demonic possession. Well, he was certainly demonically possessed when he committed his crimes. The question is whether he still is. Maybe she's managed to drive them out. How can you find that out in here? Demons love bedrooms. Let's see if anybody wants to come out to play.
stranger. Found a better spot? Kind of. They take women. <laughs> not sure. Maybe not. How long have we known each other? A couple of years. What do you know about me? Do you know what I used to do for a living? A living? <laughs> Are you serious? Why? You sound different. It's different. You really have cleaned up, haven't you? Are you still in there? Have you forgotten what to do? There you are. And the Lord shall give unto the throne of David, and he shall reign in the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Started the same time you did. You were talking in your sleep. You were reciting the prayer of exorcism. It's a bad dream. Yes, that's why we're here. What was it? I don't remember. Daniel, this is important. That's one of the ways that they communicate. Father, I need to find out what's happening out there. You've seen me. I took it now. Why did you throw this away? It's Aramaic. The language of Christ. let alone escape. If he had help, it wasn't from the inside. Would a saint have helped him escape from prison? An angel helped St. Peter escape from prison. St. Peter wasn't a rapist. All I'm saying is, what if you're wrong? What if he's been freed to rape again?
about your vows. Empty time. Saved her. Not such a bad man after all. How is she? Scared. Do you want a drink? No, thank you. I think you should have one. I don't need one. I do. So, how are you finding the job? Why don't you get Booker back to find somebody else to spy for him? Some of us took vows of obedience. It's not the same as a vow of stupidity. What did he tell you about me? Nothing I haven't seen for myself. You attract disturbed people. Corey Wardell is a little worse than disturbed. I think you know that. I don't. Did he speak to you? Yes. Albanian? Make your mind up, Father. Is he possessed by saints or demons? I think they're fighting over him. You won't even entertain the notion that he might be mentally disturbed. It was the church who first warned about confusing mental illness with possession. Synod of Reims, 1583. Don't teach your grandmother to suck eggs. Why would demons attack me? I'm not on your side. I don't know. Maybe they think it'll make me trust you. You'll be in my prayers, Father. Not if you're in mine first. like a hotel. How did you get in here? How did you? You hate religion. You did terrible things, do you? How did you find me? I followed you. I couldn't believe it. Get well, dressed. You're going to get me through now. You changed. Have I brainwashed you? you used yeah, to I'm be. not interested. I like who I am now. So? What were you doing outside the nun's bedroom, then? How long has it been? <gasps> I've missed you. <gasps> this isn't you.
wasn't your unconscious mind speaking. It was something else. Please. It's not a sin. It's a vision. Maria Goretti's killer repented in prison because of a dream, you know. He dreamt that Maria came to him carrying 14 lilies. One for each time he stabbed her. It wasn't flowers. Was it virgins? Was it rape? You're quite clear about the words she used. Absolve me. One, our Father, one Hail Mary. These words, Luke chapter 1, the Annunciation. It's a demonic inversion. Instead of Gabriel appearing to Our Lady to tell her that something wonderful is on its way, you've got a demon. But why didn't she appear to you? I'm not a virgin. So, give messages to the faithful. This is the satanic equivalent. The rape of a virgin. Who is it speaking through Corey Waddell? In demonic possession, sometimes more than one entity present. Perhaps the same thing is true of saintly possession. Who else? Maria Goretti's inspiration. The Blessed Virgin. The Mother of Christ inside a rapist. What have they done to you? I'm not a rapist. You might have forgotten how we first met. I haven't. You're lying. Why would I? I, I don't want you in here. Get out. It's just a game. I used to like it. This is me. Get out. This sounds like a woman. Either he wrote this when he was possessed, or there's a woman writing to him. It's confused. Modern thoughts in ancient language. How can you tell? Well, there are mistakes in the, in the syntax, in the grammar. This has been written by somebody who studied Aramaic, not somebody who spoke it 2,000 years ago. This is the work of a student, not our lady. What does it say? Well, she talks about losing her only child. One of Corey's victims. I thought you wanted to know who you are. I'm not going to find out from you. You want it in black and white? Look in the mirror. Were there any victims of Corey Wardell that weren't part of the trial? I don't know. He probably raped other women, I can find out. I'm, I'm talking about missing persons. No, he was never charged with murder. Because I believe that he may have been corresponding with the mother of someone he murdered. Look, people who lose daughters always send letters to bastards like him. Have you ever read any? They break your heart. But it doesn't mean he killed anyone. Answering them would be just his way of having fun. What was his modus operandi? It wasn't just rape. He offered his victims a choice, rape or death. That's exactly the choice that was offered to Maria Goretti. I think that one of his victims chose death, and that's what he can't admit, and that's why she's here. These are all from the same woman asking about a missing daughter. Have you any idea who sent them? Working on it. 
What have you got there? Missing persons. The time Corey was active. You saw her in a dream, yeah. Good luck with her. Sorry to invade your privacy. Sorry about your daughter. Do you know who wrote these? Corey Wardell. But these are not his words. He likes to pretend he's my daughter. I wrote for eight years, begging him to tell me. He made me beg him. He made me send him presents. Pictures. A few months ago, he started sending these. And I got them translated. There are things only she knew. He must have made her tell him before he killed her. Where was she last seen? Sunday morning in church. She developed from a very early age. Mary was never really mine. And I know she's with God now. I need to find her body. Mm. See, I think that he was trying to contact you. I think he was trying to confess. No. He just wants to torture me some more. God wouldn't be so cruel. Oh, when you've lost a child, you'll believe it. Believe me. God never gives us trials that we can't endure. Oh, you must be right, because I'm still here. Keep your faith. Would you mind uh, if I just pay my respects before I leave? Respects? Yeah, it's Mary's bedroom. <laughs> Your daughter doesn't want revenge. No, do I. All he has to do. No. That is why he gave in. He just needs a little help. <gasps> Corey, this is your last chance, Mr. Police are here, and I will not let you go back inside without telling me. I will not let you. 
torture me for another eight years. You have to tell me now. Where is she? Please stop. I don't remember. Tell her! I can't. Please help me. If you kill him now, you'll never find him. He doesn't tell me now. He's never going to. I can't let him enjoy that. I cannot that you have power over me. Him. Or anyone else. Out. Ever again. May the Lord pardon you whatever sins or faults you have committed. Flowers. This can't be her. And this has been sitting here for over look at eight years. Satan. No. No, he used her form. That's all. How do we know? How do we trust anything? Satan cannot perform a moral act. He cannot repent. He cannot glorify God. How do these events glorify God? She's at peace. There were 14 wounds on her body. So she chose death rather than be raped. 
Are we supposed to celebrate that? She didn't choose death. She chose God. You still think it was Our Lady inside him? Both Maria and Mary worshipped her. I may be overreaching, but... This was written by Corey in the language of Our Lady. How's the syntax? Perfect. I don't know what my faith means anymore. Faith is nothing if it's untested. We have to take it out of the box and give it a spin once in a while. Sister, I understand. It was a shock to me, too, when I discovered what kind of a man he is. Well, now you understand. I know we can rely on you to help build our case. Before he causes the church any more damage. How's Michael today? Back in his room. Is that to get away from your evil eye? Well, when I turned up skinned or gassed or raped, we'll see who's laughing then. Well, you know where the door is. Whatever the priest tells you, God never forgives. Sin is forever. I served my time in prison. I went to a monastery. I groveled before Maria Goretti's mother and the Pope, and I still went to hell. The only time I was a man was when my knife went into hell. Anyone calls and I'll just say you're at an abortion clinic helping out. Our clients are entitled to their privacy. Your clients are entitled to their bodies. Isn't that what you believe in? Women in charge of their own bodies? I think they want to be born. Go away. How can unborn souls be evil? It could be very dangerous for anybody threatening these pregnancies. Can't you see what he's doing? 